Hi there, it's Rick on Tesla with update number 10. So we've only actually got six months left to go on this uh, Tesla invest and lease test. And you'll see so far that um, things have been going very well over in 2021 and then dropped back down 2022 and then started to recover a little bit. And so today's update is to bring you what happened in the last quarter and where we're up to now. For those that don't know, uh, as you can probably tell uh, from the, the data that's on the screen at the moment, I actually purchased uh, a Tesla's worth of Tesla shares on the 8th of June 2021. And I bought those for 602.98 at the time, which is equivalent to 200, uh, just 201 basically, of the new post split uh, price, which not, isn't actually that new anymore. And uh, my idea was uh, instead of basically buying the car and having it depreciating on the drive and watching that 50,000 go down to be worth something like 30,000 over three years was to actually invest that money in Tesla itself to see if I would have that appreciation and that growth and then offset the lease cost with the money that was made from the shares and so far it's uh, doing all right on the 8th of December well in between here when it hits its peak it got up over 400 um, which would have effectively netted me a whole Tesla if I'd have sold at that time but this is always going to be, be a three year experiment it's easy for me to say so yeah let's get on and have a look at how we're doing now on the 8th of December 2023 with just these uh, next six months to go. Right, so um, it has gone up quite a bit and went up to 271, but then uh, has come back down quite significantly and it was below 200 uh, for a brief period at the end of October and then back up and is now at 242 and it seems to be staying reasonably flat since mid-November till now. So the last month, not much has happened, but I'm just happy it's above the 200 mark. It just feels better that I'm actually in profit. But in the last three months, we've had a few things happen. I'll just shift up to the top of this. We should be able to see some of the history of what's happened. Um, so Cybertruck uh, kicked off production. Uh, price cuts have then dropped it down after the uh, the exciting news of the Cybertruck production. Um, some good news that means that Tesla was uh, the, uh, I think it was voted the top EV, which I guess is no big surprise, but increased uh, a little bit around that time in September. And then deliveries um, maybe weren't brilliant, you know, um, and with further price cuts and stuff, we've seen some decrease in the share value. Stock drops 10% after grim Cybertruck outlook, knocks profit expectations. So it's been down to just under 200, uh, but now it's starting to come back up. I don't know if these things really affect the share price that much, like a uh, beast mode Cybertruck version, 2.5% increase. I can't see that really actually shifting it, but for me, the fundamentals of the business are still the same. It still looks really good. So I'm going to be uh, continuing to hold and see where we're at at the end of these three years. So if I just look at the website now and go to the shares tracker, which is updated pretty much uh, every hour or so. Let me just refresh this. There we go. All right. So these are the stats. Uh, what I bought at, what the shares are worth now. And we can see at uh, the time of recording, Free market is 242, it's about to go or 240. So um, yeah, it's uh, basically managed to pay for half of my lease, even though we're just at 242. You need to get to 284, something like that, for it to be effectively paid for my entire lease. I've had a Tesla for three years for free, which would be pretty epic. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so let's have a look at the spreadsheet, see what that is saying now. Uh, so we need to update it with the uh, 24264, so 24264, and let me copy and paste those because I know it's gone down. Okay, actually that one needs to be green, so quarterly change has gone down 3.5%. Doesn't feel like there's much there for that to, that it'll take for that to recover. Uh, overall, still up 20%. Yeah, if we have a look down here, I'll just update that sell price. 
to 0.242. We'll see uh, it's the same as the website. So the least cost is and the contribution to the least cost from the profits after the sale of shares and commissions and things like that. We will not bother going uh, extrapolating these out because it's going to be pretty boring and we know it's just going to drop 10 each uh, each quarter if we did that, um, leaving us with a, a small increase overall. So let's hope for something more like uh, 275 and let's aim for something like 300 by the end of it. That would be super nice. But that is it for this update. So update number 10 is done. I'll see you in three months for update 11 on the 8th of March 2024. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon.